Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about my top five favorite shorts to wear in 2022. So without any further ado, let's get it poppin'. Before I do a rundown on my top five favorite choices, I wanna ask you guys, what are your top five? Leave a comment down below and we'll see if we have the same ones. In terms of men's fashion, I'm seeing a lot more shorts that are above the knee nowadays. Before a lot of the shorts were going under the knee and you know, that was cool and everything and I was really comfortable like that. But times have changed. Something that I really appreciate about the above the knee look is it makes you look a lot taller. I mean, if you're going for that long sock look and you're wearing some baggy shorts, it's gonna make you look short. And in my opinion, it's not a good look unless you're like, seven foot tall or something, you got a lot of leg room, you got a lot of real estate right there, that's cool. But for the average human being, I'm starting to dig the short shorts. So starting off with short number one, we're gonna go with the Nike woven shorts. I think the first pair that I purchased was over a year ago, but these things are amazing. I love them. One of the main reasons these are my go-to shorts during summer, is these could double as a swim trunk. The material dries super fast. So if you're on vacation, you go to Hawaii or something, you don't need to pack regular shorts and you don't have to pack your swim trunks. This right here is your swim trunk and short combination. Nike keeps it very basic with this one. I mean, you got an array of colors, but all you're gonna see on this pair is some nice Nike embroidering down by the left knee and not really too much else. And I know when we're talking about shorts, pocket depth is very important because you don't want your phone, you don't want your chapstick, you don't want your wallet falling out of that thing. Ever since I got this pair though, I have not ran into any of those issues. So that's why the woven Nike shorts have made it to the list. And if you guys like anything that you see in this video, I'll have a link down below in the description to most of the shorts. I think some of them may be sold out, but I'll try to find some different alternatives for you guys. Number two on the list is extremely spicy. And if you guys aren't from the Bay Area, I'm super excited to put you guys onto these right here. These are the Sago shorts. Sago is a brand straight from San Jose, and I love supporting all the Sago homies, all the San Jose brands, all the Bay Area brands. We got a tight community over here, a lot of hustlers out here, a lot of people doing their thing, so I try to do my best to support the local brands. And Sago has definitely got the summer bangers on lock. Sago has been making bandana slash paisley print shorts for a while now. I think the first time I purchased them was maybe like two years ago. If I'm not mistaken, they've been doing this thing for a minute, but whenever I wear these shorts, I get a lot of compliments. I get a lot of people asking me where to get them. And I absolutely love these shorts. They're just mesh shorts, extremely breathable. You know, summertime gets pretty hot, so you need something that's breathable. And most importantly, comfortable. If I'm not mistaken, retail for these shorts is about $65 to $70. Ever since I got my first pair, I've been in love with them. And as you guys can see, I have an array of colors. I got colors on colors on colors because I love these shorts so much. If you guys are interested in checking some Saga shorts out, I would recommend following them on IG right here because they do limited short drops. So whenever they have a certain color, they post it up, sell it. And once it sells out, it very rarely restocks. So all the colors that you see that I have, are probably not available right now, but if you guys would like to get anything in the future, shoot the homies a follow right here. Coming in for the number three spot, we have a pair of Mitchell and Ness Swingman shorts, if I'm not mistaken. I think they're the Swingmans. These are the ones that do have the pockets. I just feel like you can't go wrong with a pair of Mitchell and Ness shorts. Mitchell and Ness is known for their quality. They always have super dope details, nice embroidery. The only downfall of this particular short is that I feel like it's a little bit too long but there's a very very easy way simple hack to fix that all you got to do is you grab the waistband and you flip it up once you flip it up it takes off about an inch or two and that's how you get that short short look or above the knee look and one more tip if you guys are looking at mitchell and nest shorts i do recommend buying them in person or just doing your research on what you're buying because i bought this pair back in the day and supposedly they're supposed to be like the authentic style basketball shorts that don't have any pockets and i literally haven't wore them since because they don't have pockets. Like I, I'm just walking around with my stuff in my hand, looking all crazy, cause I don't got pockets in my two to $300 basketball shorts. So I wouldn't recommend the no pocket Mitchell and Nesses, but if you see the ones that have the pockets in it, I would go for those. Four, we have a random one and I love randomness. So this one is straight from Target. I'm here to put you guys on. So these are called the all in motion shorts this is not sponsored right here but i ended up grabbing these in hawaii because i was trying to go swimming i didn't have my swim trunks on so i had to go get something and i saw these i was like okay they feel nice and comfortable they have zipper pockets and when i put these on when in the ocean they dried up 
super duper quick. I don't think the initial use is to use it for, you know, a swim trunk or a bathing suit or anything like that. But like I said, if you guys are going on vacation or something and you're trying to pack a little bit lighter, you don't want to bring two, this is your two in one right here. You can wear this as a casual pair of shorts. It's super comfortable, very, very flexible. And this one has the zipper pockets. I love shorts that have zipper pockets. I was wearing these in one of my stories and one of my homies was like, bro, are those the Target shorts? I was surprised because I was like, bro, nobody cares about these. Nobody knows what these are. Shout out to the homie Mondo. But yes, the all-in-one Target shorts, these things are the truth. And last but not least, coming in at spot number five, I'm going with the Nike Trail running shorts. These are a little bit shorter than the shorts that I've been showing you guys. So I know this might be a little bit debatable. Some people might think that this is a little bit too short, but not that too short. And I personally felt like these were a little bit too short when I put them on, but as I was wearing it like on vacation, I was wearing this in Hawaii a lot. And once you get used to that feel that, you know, it's a little bit above your knee and your slange isn't gonna fall out because you're wearing some nice tight boxers, then it's all good, you know what I mean? But I wanted to put these on the list because I saw these at the outlet and I had to pick them up. They have the zipper pockets, and this specific pair has something really cool. I don't even know what these are for, but it just gives it this like utility look for some reason. And it has a butt pocket if you guys wanna stash anything in here. Keep in mind, these are running shorts, so they do have a nice flex to it. They're super comfortable, very light, very breathable. And you know what I'm gonna say? You know what I'm gonna say? I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. These can double as swim trunks as well. If you guys are trying to, you know, have that two in one. You can't go wrong with that two in one. So I will for sure have these linked down below. I know these will be available. The Target ones will be available. The Saga ones, you have to wait until they post on Instagram. They might have a couple on the website right now, but all the colors that I have pretty much will not be available. And Mitchell and Ness makes a bunch of shorts. So those should be available as well. So now that you guys saw my top five shorts to wear in 2022, please let me know what you guys think about them in the comment section down below. If you guys wanna share what you're wearing, drop a comment down below as well. I'm always reading the comments. I really wanna see if y'all could put me onto something. Is there something that I'm missing out on? I'm also going to be adding a couple extras. These are like bonus ones. I don't really have any, but I've seen a lot of people wearing them. So I was like, okay, I'll just throw it on the screen right now with some B-roll. So I've seen Eric Emanuel shorts, I don't have a pair, but I know those are super popular. I've seen a lot of Bape Camo shorts. Bape Camo shorts are always nice. And what was the third one? What was the third one, man? It might be Essentials. Essentials shorts. That's going to wrap up this video. A quick top five. I know it's super random, but a lot of people have been asking me what these shorts are over on Instagram. So if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, sneakerhead in the bay is the IG. I will catch you very soon for the next video. I will also be at SneakerCon in Anaheim. So I have a whole bunch of my custom goods. Make sure to drop through, say what's good, take a picture, say what's up to your boy, and I'll catch you guys very soon for the next video. It's your boy Sneakerhead in the bay. I'm out. Deuces. Ah. Uh.